right, we're going to take a look at the NRF sniffer and the kind of information it can give us here. I'm just going to show you real quick. This is our uh, display with a Raspberry Pi mounted on back. And then you can see the NRF sniffer with the green light on right there. It just plugs into the USB port into the Raspberry Pi itself. You can see here on the display we have Wireshark. And there is the uh, display from Wireshark coming out. You can see I've already looked at a few packets here. And what's interesting about this is we can see source and destination MAC addresses, meaning that we can see connected devices when the, uh, the sniffer itself is running. And we also have the RSSI column over here as well, so we can do some filtering on that. So let me start this up and show how it works. All right, so here we go. So you can see we're pulling in data. Basically what happens is this information is in PCAP format when it's saved. What we do is we take that information, we convert it into CSV data, and then we're able to process that using Python. Through Python, we can then do the filtering and apply AI to this based on the RSSI value and also source and destination information that we get out of the MAC address as well there. So the goal is to look at the RSSI value to kind of determine where this uh, device might be at in relation to the sensor. And then you can look at source and destination to tell you more about the MAC address and what's going on there. If it's a connected device or uh, what kind of a MAC address is coming out, what company it came from, and things of that nature out there. So that covers it for the Wireshark portion of this and more to come.